happens. Um, so yeah, my name is Danielle. I'm the founder and CEO of World Native. World Native is a community of entrepreneurs, innovators, and creatives connecting minds and sharing knowledge. Our platform is a creative ecosystem that supports entrepreneurs and companies and everything needed along their journey, including uh, we have a business accelerator, a digital marketing accelerator, we have business workshops, co-working events, resources, and adventurous networking for entrepreneurs to meet each other. And the vision behind World Native is I believe in the power of community. I believe what happens when you bring multiple minds together to bring our unique gifts and talents to contribute to the whole. And I believe every person has something inside of them that they were born to do. And through this community, it's been inspiring to connect vision and purpose with the entrepreneurial tools for these people to make their vision a reality in the world. And I'm so inspired about entrepreneurship and this has been happening here locally in San Diego. And the big vision is to connect these minds locally and globally around the world. So if you think of, and the talk tonight is on um, building a global community and how to build a community around your brand and what I learned over this past year. But talking about community, if you think of a small organization or if you even think of what we've really built in this North County community, each individual has a unique gift and it's that much more powerful when they contribute to the whole. So I think of this on a larger scale. When you think globally, and you think of individuals around the world from different countries and have to have different experiences, I see the power of what happens when we all come together and we work on solutions, we build our visions together or separate. And so I'm excited to bring that vision. And I've learned that a lot of people in this community also have this vision of building community locally and building a global community in their own unique way that they're doing it. So the way I'm doing it is through entrepreneurship. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Um, so I first want to start off talking um, about my story, and then I'll go into some strategies of building community. So in 2011, I went, I graduated from the University of Colorado Boulder. We have a CU in the crowd. <laughs> and I, at this point, I was so used to what my life was going to be the next year. I always knew since kindergarten. When you go to first grade, then middle school, then high school, then college. And now I'm here without any idea of what I was going to do next. But something inside of me felt excited about the idea of going to travel the world. And I was terrified. I was so scared. I never had left the bubble that I was living in. But I had to go. And I decided to take that leap anyways. And that leap ended up being the best thing, best decision that I've ever made in my life today. So I ended up moving to Spain, and I wanted to figure out ways, how can I live and work and make money living in other countries? So I moved to Spain, became an English teacher, was teaching there, and ended up meeting some friends, and ended up thinking I was gonna um, live in Spain for a year, but what ended up happening is I ended up traveling across the world. I ended up going to visit India, then I moved to Thailand where I was teaching there, and then ended up living in Cambodia in a little village hut outside of Siem Reap, um, leading workshops to people all over the world. And during this time, I had no idea that I was building the vision behind world name. And really what I was doing is I let, I let go of all the, the need to know what is supposed to happen. I just followed my curiosity and followed my excitement. And it ended up leading me to um, this vision that I'm building today. So now I'm back here, I come back home. And traveling transformed my life. It completely shed my old mindset. I no longer thought in a structured way. I started developing all these creative ideas of things that I wanted to bring into the world. I had ideas of how do I connect all these incredible people, five minutes left, or five minutes left? Okay. Um, wow, that was really fast. <laughs> okay, I'll try, to, I'll try to speed up then. Um, so, okay, maybe I'll have to skip things. So when I came back, I had all these ideas, and I started really thinking about community and wanting to bring all these people together. And I believe that we're shifting from a I to a we society. If you look back, we originally were in a we society. We lived in a tribal um, way as people were living together. Then we shifted into the Industrial Revolution, where it became about the individual striving for success in America. 
And I believe we're now, sh we have 10 minutes left, okay, woo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> okay, um, so I believe that we're shifting back to a we society. You can see that happening. This North County area is obviously moving faster than other areas, but I believe this is happening also on a global scale. You can see with Facebook, why is Facebook so popular is because it's hitting a biological need. People want to be a part of a community. It's, it nourishes us. We want to be around other people. We don't want to do things alone. We want support. So that's, um, yeah, so, I'll kind of go through a with that, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so this past, so when I came back, I was filled with these visions. And there was a couple of things, needs that came up for me. The first one was, how do I connect these visions and actually turn them into a thriving business that makes an impact? And the second thing was, I'm sitting alone on my computer. I figured out how to work remotely, but I'm so alone. I have no one I can talk to. Great, I, I could work from anywhere, but I don't have anyone to connect with. So because of these two needs, I went out and started searching for um, business experts to come teach topics to the community based on where I was at the time. And so these experts started coming and the events started filling up and the community started building and it ended up leading into our business accelerator, that's a three month journey, and our digital marketing accelerator, and all these different things. We just had our first mastermind last night and all these things, all these things are building because there's a, there's a need and I saw people want to come together with community. So over this past year, I want to talk about some strategies for all of you. Uh, raise your hand if you're interested in building a community around your brand. Okay, awesome. So, um, so these are the things that I learned over this past year about building community. The first one, um, the first one I learned is being very clear on your why. So why are you doing what you're doing? Why do you get up in the morning? Why are you driven to bring this idea out into the world? And when you're very clear on this, go out and start sharing with people your vision. So from the beginning, I didn't have necessarily, I didn't know how it was gonna happen, but I started sharing my idea, sharing my vision. Don't be afraid to tell people. And all these people will come to support you with resources or the knowledge or tools, whatever it is that you need. And really think how you can put your why front and center with anything that you're doing, when you're speaking or in your marketing copy, always start with the why, because this is a powerful thing that will motivate people beyond the, the what that you're creating. It's, it's the essence of what you're creating that moves people to action and fills a room and gets people excited and driven to be a part of what it is that you're creating. The second thing, and this is the biggest thing that I do with World Native, and this is about joint ventures. So you don't have to have a legal business partner. You can do joint ventures in a variety of different ways. So what this means is going out and finding other people or places where the two communities can come together and it's a win-win for both. It, it gives value to both of these um, communities. So you can do this with people. So if you're hosting events or um, so you can think of sponsorships or if you're doing, um, you could have a, like what we're doing tonight, multiple speakers coming. So in that way you have more people promoting what it is that you're doing. And another thing is it doesn't have to be just people. So we partner up with different co-working spaces in the area. We create the event, we bring community, they provide the space and invite their community and it's a value for both. So I'm always thinking, who can we partner with? How can we take our communities and make them better and bigger together? And so when you're approaching these, um, relation these joint venture relationships, always go into it thinking, how can I give to them? What can I do to add value? So always think that first, and then think how can we be creative in working together? And I love what Tony Robbins says. He said it's not um, how, many, how many resources you have, it's how resourceful you are. And I found that the biggest resource is the people that I've been connecting with, that it's just powerful to see how we can collaborate together. So the third thing is, is thinking how you can add community to your business model. So you can be creative with this. So you can host events, you can do um, Facebook groups, a really um, interesting idea from someone in our digital marketing accelerator. His company is called Kamies and Canines. It's a dog collar. And what he does is he creates these things called Yappy Hour, where he partners with restaurants and all these people bring their dogs and they talk about his mission. And so you can think of just fun, creative ways that you can build community in the most unique ways. Like off of a dog collar, it's just such a great idea. 
And the last one is technology. This is pretty obvious, but because of technology, more than ever, we're able to connect with people around the world. And I believe technology is changing our society so rapidly, and it already is. And it's been incredible to see when we host our events. I've had people from Nigeria, Madagascar, Canada, Los Angeles, New Mexico, all over message how to be a part of World Native and, and do what is, uh, be a part of our mission. And so over the next year, we're planning on taking our content and thinking how we can make it digital so that we can share it with people from all across the world. Imagine someone waking up in Nigeria, listening to your message or learning from you and having it impact their day and move them to action to do something that they love because of something you're creating across the world. I think this is just so incredible. Even uh, Facebook Live, put yourself out there, do Facebook Live, use technology to reach a larger audience online. We have a room here, I don't know how many people are here, but with Facebook Live, you can have hundreds of people that will be able to see what you're doing at the same time. So this is really um, the tools that I have used to build World Native, and I'm really excited about what we're doing here with entrepreneurship here locally. And I want to invite you guys all to come check out our different events. So we just had our mastermind that started. And the next two are um, October 5th and November 3rd. It's totally free. You're all are welcome to come. It's here in Solana Beach. And then we have an info session this Monday talking about our business accelerator, which is a three-month journey of people coming together, collaborating, sharing ideas. So you're not going to this journey alone. We have some people that were in the accelerator that are here today. They're not raising hand. You don't want. But um, yeah. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for having me. If you have any questions, I have business cards in the back, and I'd love to talk to you and see how we can connect and support each other in our visions.